In this video, we're going to do a quick uh, review on how to make a conditional question, uh, a question that is conditional on other questions within your Drupal web form. Uh, so I've already entered into the web form and I'm inside the form components. And this is my logic gate question. It is, do you like kittens? And I'm just going to take a look at that question so you can see uh, what I need from here. And in here I need the options. This is, uh, I'm going to need this, uh, this is called a safe key, according to down here. So this is what's readable by our users, and then this uh, item on the other side of the pipe is going to be what I need to make another question conditional. So I have a Y for yes and an N for no. Alright, so now that I know that, I'm going to go back to page 2, and I can't make anything conditional unless I have a page break. So this page break is very functional, and I need to add that first. So below my page break, now I can go to any of these form components and make them conditional based on this logic gate. Now I've got it set up that this field set is conditional, and anything that I put inside of here is going to appear or not appear based on answers. So let me go into this. This is for people who don't like kittens and I'll go edit that and I'm scrolling down and this is a field set that has all the conditional rules. So I have to click on this to look into it and now I have to pick what is my logic gate question. Do you like kittens? Uh, I could pick anything on page one <clears throat> and down here in the values, I need to put my safe key in. So do you like kittens? No. And if I try this out, if, if they don't like kittens, I'm going to ask if they like puppies. And if they do like kittens, then I'm going to ask what kind of kittens they like. So let's go to the view and see how this form functions. Alright, so yes, I like kittens. So now it's going to be what kind of kittens. Okay, so I really, tabbies, oh, so boring, calico. Okay, and if I said, no, I don't like kittens. Now it's going to ask me if I like puppies. Okay, and this box around it is that field set. I could have also in this scenario, because I only have one question for each of the paths, I could have just put the uh, conditional rule just on this one question as opposed to uh, putting conditional on the entire field set. That's your option. So if I go into this questions, do you like puppies? If I scroll to the bottom, the conditional rules show up again and I could say, okay, for this one question, do you like kittens? This is going to be up oh, is one of n. This for people who don't like kittens, then I'm going to ask if they like puppies. All right, and that's about it.